Hello everyone! A month ago, about a month ago, I brought a few items to Chanel for alterations and today is the day I picked them up. I also want to bring them these pants and ask them to take in the waist. It's really cold outside. It's 8 degrees Celsius this morning. It's 13 now. Here's the first skirt. I took this skirt here once and the waist was still too loose. So now it's all good. asked me to post an updated Chanel alterations video to my channel and I figured today is a good day to do it since I've just collected six pieces from the store. In this part of the video, I'm going to talk about Chanel alteration services in Hong Kong, how much I paid, how long it took, what they did on the pieces and what came with the alterations. I said Hong Kong because store policies may vary in different places as well as alteration price. So please use this video as a reference and if you have specific questions about your piece, please contact the customer service hotline or bring the piece to the store directly. Now let's talk about the one thing that I get asked the most. Hangers. Chanel gives their customers one hanger for each jacket they buy and bring in for alterations. For alterations specifically, if you want a Chanel hanger, 
then make sure you do not bring a hanger to the store when you drop off your jacket. That's what I did the first time I brought in a jacket. And when I collected the jacket, of course, they gave me my hanger back. And I didn't know even after that, that they give hangers to customers. The second time I brought in a jacket, I forgot to bring a hanger. And when I collected the jacket, they gave me a hanger. That's how I found out. And besides the hanger, customers can also ask for a garment bag. Also for each jacket, you can get one garment bag. Quite sturdy. Chanel on one side, and then a long zipper on the other. A slot the size of a business card. Snap fasteners on the left and the right in case you want to fold the bag and carry it with the top handles it's quite nice although you can ask for one garment bag for each jacket i only have one because i think it's quite wasteful to ask for one for each jacket and so i only have one and it's good enough it's very nice and i'll always just Take the hanger but not the garment back. So the next part of this video I'm going to refer to my notes because I've put down a lot of things and I don't want to miss anything so I'll be looking down and I hope you don't mind. The second question I get asked a lot is pricing. Store policy may vary in different countries as well as alteration prices but in Hong Kong the policy states that the first alteration is free. That means even if you have a secondhand jacket that shows signs of wear, as long as it has not been altered in any way, alteration will be free in Hong Kong. And I'm sure it applies to other countries as well. So before you go to a store, uh, confirm with the customer service hotline. And if they say it should be free, the first time should be free, then go in knowing that. And if the sales associate asks you to pay or tells you that there is a charge, then you can just confirm the policy with them. It has happened to me in Hong Kong. Sometimes they're not very sure because I guess not a lot of people bring secondhand jackets in for alterations. So, you know, once you confirm with them, they confirm with the other staff, then, you know, everything will be clear and sorted out. Going in uh, with some information can be helpful. So sometimes when you buy secondhand, it's hard to tell, right? Um, if you, you don't know if alteration work has been done on the jacket, you can always ask the seller. And if the seller doesn't know, then you just have to decide whether or not you want to get it. If you really want the jacket and you've decided to, to buy it, then you can always bring the jacket to a Chanel store and their alteration department will definitely be able to tell. And if alteration work has been done, um, then of course you will be charged and they will tell you how much and you can decide whether or not you want to, them to go ahead with the job. And if you think that the price is reasonable, which you know usually is, um, then you can just ask them to do it. They have a department just for alterations and their seamsters and seamstresses were trained to fix Chanel garments. That's why I always bring the stuff back to Chanel, even though I know it can be slightly more expensive than outside. I still prefer bringing the stuff back to Chanel. So to elaborate, for example, you bring the jacket in to shorten the sleeves, but they find traces of alteration in the lining, for example, like somewhere else, not on the sleeves. Then you will have to pay for alteration for the sleeve. Let me show you a few things that I brought home from Chanel just now. This is a skirt from the 2006 Cruise Collection. It was the second time I brought in this skirt for alterations. The first time I asked them to size it down and after wearing this skirt for a few times, I figured the waist was still too big. So I brought it in for the second time and of course this time they charged for alteration. I paid 450 Hong Kong dollars for them to take in the waist and of course they, they took in not just on the waist but down here. So they did a great job and it fits perfectly now. It's a jacket from the 2010 Fall Winter Collection. It has 
an open front with no buttons and I asked them to put a snap fastener so I can close the jacket like this and it's hidden like it's black so it's hard to show on camera and two more on the left and the right under the collar just to fix the position and because the snap fasteners are not part of the design although it was the first time I got in for alteration was the first alteration I had to pay because it's not the original design so I had to pay $50 for each snap fastener so altogether 150 Hong Kong dollars I think it's quite reasonable I can do it myself but I don't think I'll do a good job so I'd rather take it to them to have it professionally done and the rest uh, like they were all first alterations and so that means they were all free so for example for this jacket from the 2004 spring summer collection they helped me replace the shoulder pads so these shoulder pads are new and they helped me size it up by one size from size 34 to 36 so they did two things it's still counted as the first alteration as long as it's the first time they count it as first alteration and it's all free but some of you may have questions about sizing up or down. Chanel will only size up or down by maximum one size. That means from size 40 to 38 or from a 38 to a 40. Also, sizing down is always easier than sizing up. Therefore, sometimes they can only size up by half a size or not at all. The alteration department will make a professional judgment when they work on the jacket. For example, for this black one from the 1995 spring summer collection it's really small it's size 34 if you've watched my unboxing video you'll know how tight it was and i took it in to ask them to size it up for me in the end they were only able to size it up by half a size so it's still quite tight he said that the vintage material was too delicate and uh, so that's why he only sized it sized up by half a size so that's why sometimes when you buy a jacket that is too small you have to take that into consideration sometimes the material like if it's like a very old jacket then there's a chance that it may not be able to size it up Whenever I take something to Chanel for alterations, I'm always served by a sales associate who will never push me to shop while I'm waiting for the seamster or seamstress to arrive. At most, they, they'll pass me their iPad to let me browse the later, latest collection while I'm waiting. I'll always show the sales associate the jacket or the pieces so he or she can have some idea of um, what I want to be done. So I'll never ask where or when I bought the jacket, nor was I ever asked to present the receipts. Um, some of my viewers have told me that in other countries like Singapore and the United States, they will only do alterations on jackets like within five years and they won't work on vintage jackets, which is very strange to me. Um, so you, you may just have to confirm with the customer service hotline because they are the people who have the policies with them so sometimes it really depends on the sales associates what they know uh, but if you contact the customer service hotline directly like they have the policies with them it'll be easier for you to get an answer so they do check for authenticity from my experience it's done by the sa and the seamster or the seamstress on the spot but i think they confirmed the authenticity with someone like a manager or a department head before they worked on the jackets in terms of the weight nowadays it usually takes one month before it was like two to three weeks just no big difference when you collect your jacket just show them your alteration receipts or email or if everything looks okay you can pay so they won't ask you to pay until the day you collect your pieces of course they will tell you the price beforehand uh, so you can decide whether or not you want them to go ahead with the work but you won't have to pay until you collect your piece but you will know how much you'll have to pay if you're not happy with uh, the alteration work uh, then your SA will ask the seamstress to come 
to you to help you fix the problem. If it's their fault, uh, then they will fix it with no extra charge. But if you want them to work on something else on the jacket and you didn't mention it before, for example, I asked them to uh, size this up, but I didn't ask them to replace the shoulder pads the first time I went, then now you will be charged uh, the second time. And uh, because they will not consider that as the first alteration. So yeah, if I've left anything out, if you have more questions about alteration services, uh, please leave your questions in the comment below. I'll try my best to answer them. I don't know everything. And again, uh, store policies may vary in different places. So this is just a reference for you. And if you have experience uh, with channel alterations in another country, please share with us in the comment below like the price or uh, what they did or just your experience uh, would be very helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video with your friends if you find it helpful. Thanks again. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.